Question seven. Let's get our highlighter out. Here is a cuboid. So here's a picture of a cuboid. The following sentences are about cuboids. Complete each sentence by writing the correct number in the gap. A cuboid has a certain number of faces. A cuboid has a certain number of edges. A cuboid has a certain number of vertices. So I'm going to show you what each of these means. Now, a face is the easiest thing. A face, in a way, is the flat surface, is the flat surface. So, for example, that's a face along the front, the front face. I'll try and colour them in different colours if I can. This is the side face, if I've got enough colours. There's two there. This is the top face. There's three there. Now, can you imagine there being this side of face here? So this here would be another face here. So that would be equal to four. We haven't talked about the bottom face. So the bottom face would be this one here. That would be five. And lastly, we haven't talked about the top face, and that would be along the top. So it would be six. So the answer would be equal to six faces. Now I'll rub this out and make it a bit clearer for you. You can think of them in pairs. Okay, you've got your front face and your back face. So your front and back are two. You've got your top and your bottom. So your top and your bottom are another two. And you've got your two sides, your side one and your side two. Your two sides give you another two. And they add up to six in total. So you could think of it like that. So six flat faces. Okay, good. Now let's deal with the cuboid has how many edges? Edge, okay, an edge of a shape is a line where two faces meet each other. So I'm going to draw in the edges for you. So here we go. I'm going to draw them in in a different colour. One edge, two edge, three edge, four edge, five edge, six edge, seven edges, eight edges, nine edges, ten edges, eleven edges, and 12 edges. I would encourage you in the exam to draw over the shape to make sure you don't make a mistake. 12 edges. Okay, and lastly, um, lastly we're going to talk about how many vertices and the shape has. Now a vertex, the way I like to remember a vertex has the letter V, vertex, or vertice for plural, the V is like a corner. It's where two lines meet each other at a sharp point. So here's one, or two or more. There's th three lines meeting there. There's one vertex. That would be two. That would be three. That would be four. That would be five. That would be six. That would be seven. And that would be equal to eight. Now, this is a nice straightforward question. If you just remember face, so face, and I might remember flat, okay, vertex, or vertice, the V, I would remember a sharp corner, like the V, and edge, you can just remember an edge as it's like a straight line, you fall off the edge, like if you were to fall off the edge here, that would be what you call the edge. Okay, so it says below, here is a different cuboid, and so what we've got here is we've got the width of the front face being 10, the height of the front face being 3, and the depth uh, of the cuboid being 4. Now, you should know in your formula booklet, you're told that the volume of a prism, it has a picture of a prism, and it says it's equal to the following. It says if you work out the area of the front face, okay, and you multiply that by how far back the shape is, that gives you the volume. So it tells you that the volume is the surface area of the front, the surface area of the flat face, this bit, multiplied by the length back or the height. Okay, so we'll call it the length back. So let's work out the surface area here. The surface area is going to be equal, well we've got 10 here and it's 3 high, this 3 here. So it's going to be 10 multiplied by 3, which would be 30 centimetres squared. And therefore, the volume is going to be that surface area, which is 30, multiplied by how far back it is, 4. And we're going to get ourselves 120 centimetres cubed. So we could write 120 in there.